It's Sunday, folks. Welcome aboard. The tri-generational train wreck to Margu is now in <laughs> session. Welcome aboard. We're glad to have you here. Make sure that you follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit with us about D&D, &D, join our Discord channel. If you want to buy some cool stuff for friends, relatives, family members, or people that you hate that you want them to like you, check out our store. We've got crap galore. Uh, don't forget to thank uh, Pirate Dog Dice for dice that sadly did not kill the campaigners uh last week uh came close came close uh but didn't do it also oddfishgames.com oddfishgames.com they just had their how to roll or how to rpg with your cat earlier today uh about an hour and 15 minutes ago hopefully you got signed up for that it was free but you had to sign up uh that being said let's introduce you to our margu campaigners uh we're gonna go in the middle of the road today uh we will start with jason uh, I'm Jason playing Copies Full Bitters the Third, captain of the uh, SS Minnow and uh, Gnomish Witch. And fuzzy, if I'm not mistaken now. Uh, like a fuzzy navel, much there. like the mixed drink at the moment after More being like egg and boiled in turtle soup. I'm thinking we should call them Peaches Bitters. Peaches <laughs> Bitters. Yeah. bitters. Uh, we'll move over to the side for uh aj aj who are you playing oh i'm aj i'm playing felix uh the last thing werewolf hunter were rat hunter uh, armed with your silver dagger yeah that's right and i hope it's not starting to burn my hands when i touch it because that would be bad well, the good news is uh, you were out drinking with the uh, party where we're at, but he didn't change today. So, yeah, that's okay. Uh, next up is Middle Frank. Frank, who are you playing? Hi, I'm Middle Frank. I'm playing Robert of Zeppelin, one Very of the fun. wonderful bard slash dragon reborn slash purveyor of fine music and women. Very you have awesome. yet to pick up any chicks. <laughs> uh, odd even. I, I've also yet to play any decent music either. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty right. sure he said purveyor of women. That's true. So he's a pimp. Yep. <laughs> uh, we will move to the youngest Isn't member right, of the group, bitters. Man Fang. <laughs> 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 We're going to peddle peaches. Uh -oh. hey, 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 wait, wait. I'm the one holding the, the pimp cane. That was a treasure item. Peaches is uh, carrying that sucker. That's a swagger if, stick. If, if you remember, I, I had the uh, Pop Mark Duck cane. That is true. Before your cane. Got to keep up. He hit that oh, one. Man done? Fang, a little Frank, tell us about your character. Explaining? Yes. Go. All right. I'm Man Fang. I am a dragonborn fighter with the most beautiful face in the land. You can look at the camera. People ah. want to see your wonderful face. No, no, we don't. Okay. <laughs> Shame. Shame. <laughs> and last yeah. but certainly not least, the elder statesman of the group, Senior Frank. I'm a tired old Leaf the Druid, the only really sane member of this party. Well, you're syphilis free for now. That is correct. <laughs> so, as long as I stay I away from a slight of me. As long as I stay away from not Felix's a, bedroll, I'll remain that way. That's not a slight. That's lore right there. Oh that is in the lore books. <laughs> uh, folks, if you uh, haven't been following us and are just joining us, thank you very much. Let's do a quick recap. These guys have uh, been all over the place. Currently, they're in the Tortle Nation in the capital city of Fatar. Uh, when they snuck in here to try and sell their ill-gotten, good-gotten, their booty, uh, they discovered that the turtles are going to war, which would make sense since these guys are in a hijacked slash stolen turtle warship. Uh, but, you know, accidents happen. Uh, they have met an interesting individual by the name of Aruba Tuba, uh, a smuggler, a shellless smuggler uh, on the outskirts of Fatar, and they have been told that they need to seek out uh, an individual named Coronado Diego, who is uh, head honcho, El Duce, the tip of the top. Uh, so meanwhile, 
<laughs> Robert and Felix have meandered in to try and use their suave debonair uh, persuasion techniques, ended up getting caught by the fuzz, uh, but quickly maintained that they were just here on a bar hop tour. Uh, they proceeded to get smashed while Felix, or I'm sorry, Copius, uh, left the safety of a deserted farmhouse to go out and seek out this Coronado Diego on his own. Uh, he did get caught in a net, <laughs> which was nice, uh, but did manage to escape the local gendarmes, uh, finding himself at the end of the slumbering giant, which is where Aruba Tuba told them uh, the boss man was housed. Uh, strangely enough, both Robert Zeppelin and Felix, the last saying we're rat hunter, found themselves as the last stop there. All three have piled into a room where Copius uh, interviewed someone who was probably Coronado Diego, uh, but declined to confirm or deny that, stating that uh, he would help them find uh, Diego uh, in the morning. Uh, meanwhile, Leaf and Manfang are hiding out in the uh, small deserted farmhouse at the edge of town. Whew. All caught up? I know I am. Uh, let's start with Leaf and Manfang. Uh, gentlemen, give me perception rolls, please. Why am I rolling it out of here? Uh, 21. Four. Yeah. So 17 for Frankie. 17. Oh, okay. That's better than I thought. Uh, Leaf and Manfang, there is a disturbance outside. Uh, sounds like guard types uh, chasing somebody. Yeah, it's, uh, guess uh, I guess I'll try. Oh, Manfang, I, let's uh, just sneak a peek without being obvious. We don't want to step yeah. out there. Uh, give me investigation techniques, uh, both of you. We'll see you. Ooh. What you see? My investigation. It's under I. Negative three. <laughs> that should be well. 20. 15. Huh. I got zero. Negative one, actually. Negative, Negative one. one. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> with a splinter in the eye and backs away from the planks, uh, Leaf, you managed to spy through the crack in the wall. Uh, yes, indeedy. There are several total guards actively searching. Since you guys have secured the door to this old abandoned building, they rattle it, but decide, nope, that's not where it's at. Man uh, thing's looking through a crack in the wall. It's a crack. He's looking into a crack of Leaf the Druid. Uh, hey, hey, hey. I see uh, nothing. Uh, Leaf, I assume you tell Manfang to shut up uh, lest ye be captured. Manfang, put a cork in it. Both of you give me stealth rolls. Stealth okay. Rolls. Oh, God. Stealth. What is my stealth? My stealth is plus, plus one. one. Nice. Right. It's better plus than your negative. One. Yep. In the same. 18. Woo, 20, 30. Both of you manage to silencio, uh, and the guards move on. Give me another perception check, please. Uh, 24. 20. Uh, 30, both, the, 20. both of you hear if you... the wooden floor ratcheting up, and you turn and look to see a floorboard loosened for some reason pop up about three inches uh, and moments later a head appears uh, with pointy ears. It is a female. She has not seen you yet. Oh. What would you like to do? Wait till she comes all the way up and we will grab her. Give me a grapple roll strength or dexterity. Oh boy. I'm in trouble. Grab her, man thing. No, you got it. You got it. You got it. Appropriately. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, my God. You suck. <laughs> That's why I told you I'm not doing it. I because suck, I knew too. That was going to happen. He didn't fumble, but with the plus five, he got seven. Yeah. I had uh, nine. <laughs> you guys tackled each other. I have you, you guys eight, yell, man. Get her, Ray! <laughs> and bang into each other, uh, ricocheting off. She jumps up, whisks two daggers. Oh boy! Uh, you know the long 
uh, oriental daggers with the nice guards and she's spinning them around on her finger <laughs> who are you identify yourself uh, the voice is that of an adolescent uh, elf uh with a lot of human features uh you're gonna yeah. say half elf probably i'm gonna ask her if she's trained in the ways yeah. of obi-wan i do not know uh, who that is uh but i see by your tortle shell you're the ugliest turtle I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to unlock life. it and take it off and say no. I'm I not. thought you left the shell at, on the boat. Oh, yeah, we uh, did leave the shell. He did. He doesn't oh, have a okay. turtle shell. Oh, on okay. Uh, she we thought that'd be a bad idea. She, she wonders why you're only half smiling at her uh, and has it asked for you guys to identify. Well, does she think he's just a shellish turtle like the other uh, uh, convicts? He's got... Uh, uh, what do you get when you, uh, what's the thing that you get when you've had chicken pox? Shingles. He's got a lot of shingles all over his face. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. <laughs> You're welcome. You aren't very charisma. So yeah. what would, do you want to tell her who you are? Or do you want to uh, risk getting turned into lizard scale turtle meat? Excuse me. Um, I guess I'll tell her who I am. I, my man Fang, how old am I? Well, where does it say how old I am? I've you're, forgotten my age. I don't know how old I am. You're 105. I'm 105. Hi. I'm Manfang, 105. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. <laughs> like long walks on the beach and cheese fondue. Um, I'm you a, hate people who uh, burp. Uh, my friend in over here, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, he appears to be busy. He appears to be busy. We'll wait for him to get back. Um, uh, man, he, he's totally befuddled by her her beauty because he's a half elf as well. That is true, but he's an old half elf. <laughs> an he's old got horny half elf. He's got city miles on him. <laughs> <laughs> That's all terrain mileage. Trust me, uh, man. Fang, she'll go ahead and indulge you while Leaf the Druid is prepping himself. Uh, what are you doing here? Um. Waiting to go into town. Keep friends are up. Oh, shut up. Around. I think I hear something. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay, we're just going into town. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. No. <laughs> Ew, whatever do that. Um, so we're going into town, just trading some things, selling. <clears throat> Not much, really. You guys aren't from around here, are you? No, we came in on a boat. Well, my name's Wendling, uh, and I assume that you are not guards, and in this hideout, I'm assuming you're hiding from the guards as well. Uh, Leaf, is that the case? Muted. You're, you're muted. muted. All right. That's muted because I had company for a moment there. Uh, yes, that is the case. All right. <laughs> We're trying to keep a low profile. We've got some friends that are looking for somebody. We've got things to sell. Well, my mother might be interested in buying some of that stuff. That's what she does. Now, you did catch the part where she's a adolescent half-elf, right? I just heard that as I was uh, getting off the headphones there. Sure. Yes. Uh, yeah, you ought, to, you ought to talk to my mom. She, uh, she's she been known to buy a few things. And uh, right. where would we find your mother? Uh, I don't really trust you well enough to tell you where to go find my mom, but okay. I could probably get her to meet you guys somewhere. <laughs> well, we uh, need to uh, confer with our compatriots. Uh, do you have mice in your pockets? Uh, no, but we have friends in the city. Oh, okay. Well, I suppose that works. Uh, what kind of stuff do you have? Uh, just uh, a few things. It'd be better to just... Uh, Maybe discuss that with your mother. Some it just some artifacts from a uh, portal city over on the other land. You mean cat stuff? No, it was a cat land, but it's not cat stuff. Portal artifacts. I uh, you've got me intrigued. Uh, when would you like to meet my mother and discuss this? 
What time of the day is it right now? By the way? Right now it's night. It's the middle of the night because two of your party are drunk and passed out, and one of them is looking over them to make sure that they aren't going to get shanked. That is correct, and they're all in the city being goofy. Yep. Uh, let's say we meet uh, tomorrow night. Uh, Mom doesn't like to do business at night. <clears throat> no, we could do it in the daytime. How about first thing in the morning on the inn outside of town? Is that the blue arrow you've got on the map? That is the blue arrow. Mom's pretty busy right now because there's, there's a lot of problems here in Fatar. We could maybe do that. And what's your mother's name? Uh, my mother's name is Coronado. We could do that. Well, I don't hear any guards coming, so I'm going to uh, take my wares and uh, vamoose. <clears throat> so, what kind of wares did you have? Uh, nothing too important. What kind of wares you got? Uh, nothing too important. I have gemstones. Oh, that's nice. Uh, man, I wish I did. Well, well what, do you, what do you got? What do you got to trade? Yeah, I got some. A few of these turtle gold pieces. Just a few. How many? Uh, I don't know. Maybe a hundred or so. That's not very much. Because these are nice gemstones. I can maybe sell you one for... 200, 200, 200 gold pieces. Yeah, let me see if I have any ability to know what the hell I'm looking at. I would say no. <clears throat> what would that be? Uh, I'll give you survival, considering the nature of this. Okay. Uh, tell her, let me see what she's got. Uh, gemstones. Yep. One of them uh, appears to be amber, and it has a uh, strange bug in the middle of it, but oddly, the bug is moving around. Ooh, it's the dinosaur mosquito. Dinosaur? But it's moving. It was just trapped. If it's moving, it ain't amber. Might be an amber ca casing. She goes, I give you this for 200 gold pieces. It bothers me because it vibrates. Oh, let, let me just check here. Sure. Okay, 21 on my survival. You have never seen anything like this, and you are intrigued. <clears throat> Where did this come from? <laughs> oh, you and I are an awful lot alike. I don't think we need to know that. <laughs> <laughs> I may not have the years you possess, but uh, I was not born yesterday. What are you wanting for it? 200 gold pieces, I think. That would I be got 100. Uh, I don't think I can part with it for 100. Oh, man. Got anything to throw into that pot? Uh, maybe a couple hours with man fang. Uh, I already have a pet. I just want, I wanted to see if he was listening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I'm not the purveyor. That'd be Robert, isn't it? That's yeah, right. I'm sorry. And he's not there. But speaking of, oh, while you go yeah. through your list, uh, Copious, give me a perception roll. I'll tell you what I do have is a, a, I've got a, a diamond that I'll show her and offer it and even trade for the. That's fair. Uh, Copious, so uh, what's your perception roll? 13. There's a disturbance outside in the hallway, uh, but you're having a difficult time determining what it's about since one of your compatriots is farting and the other one is snoring. <laughs> That's really no surprise. The toxic, toxic fumes inside the room are enough incentive for Copius to stick his head out in the hallway uh, carefully and see what's happening. Uh, give me a stealth check so the guards don't spot you. Oh, With a loud oh, creak oh, on the rusty metal hinges, uh, you peek your head out and you see a pair of well-heeled <laughs> guards carrying halberds interviewing the individual that you were talking to down below. Uh, the individual is clearly stating his innocence uh, and 
hands both guards a few coins and says, I'm not the man you're looking for. Uh, the guards take the coins, do the right, left. What are you looking at? Not a thing. Duck my head back in, shut the door. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> There's a cloud in this room. Uh, now they are both snoring and both uh, harmoniously farting. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be a long night for you, but you hear and you see underneath the edge of the door, uh, the guards pass by your room, clomp, clomp, clomp. They head down the stairs. So uh, once I hear the guards go down the stairs, I'll open the door back up and look back in the hallway to see if the mighty Tim is still out there. He is not. Yeah, I'll, I'll move back down the hall, uh, back to the common room, common area, uh, slowly, stealthily. Let's see if I see him anywhere. You do not. You see the guards exit the front door and the innkeeper go back to his scribblings. He is a uh, formidable artist, but he only dabbles in nudes. Uh, one of them looks like odd even. Felix. <laughs> I'll say, <clears throat> that's a fine representation, my friend. What, do you sell these? I asked the barkeep. D12 against me. Uh, 11. Three. Uh, they're just scribblings, but uh, if you are an art lover, I suppose I could sell it to you. How about I, uh, two coins? Two coins it is. <laughs> I have plenty of turtle coin on me, so I'll slide two across to him. Oh, well, thank you very much, stranger. Handsome stranger. Fuzzy naval stranger. Uh, yeah, I, I've got a few others if you're interested in them. Uh, sure, I'll let him show me his porn. Give me four D20 rolls. Let's see how you like it. <laughs> <laughs> this is so taking a bad turn. Nine. One. Oh, boy. Four. <laughs> and Nine. I am both disturbed <laughs> and offended by some of the scribblings. Well, on two of the scribblings, you point out that that is not anatomically possible ever, <laughs> no matter what the race is. Uh, the other two are just... Uh, but uh, of the group, only one of them is of Felix, uh, which for two coins, you have taken possession of the... Uh, last saying, where rat hunter porn. <laughs> uh, folks at home, if any of you have any artistic skill, give it your best. Uh, I do have uh, somebody that I may commission for that one. <laughs> well, hey, I just want to give you a, a heads up. This is my vision. A new brew, and that's the label that's going on the outside. <laughs> is it going to be... <laughs> nah, you know what? I... <laughs> Uh, hang on. I'm going to put it in chat. That way it's hidden. <laughs> I... Felix, you're going to be famous, my friend. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, the, to the latter, I think. Oh, boy. Uh, anyway, uh, the guards have left, and the mighty wizard Tim is nowhere to be found. All right. I'll go back to, up to the room and carefully stow my art so that it doesn't get damaged. Oh, Felix is going to find that shit and beat you to death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I, before I leave, I have to ask the barkeep if he could get a good look at the, the compatriot that was with Felix and draw a picture of him as well in one of the more anatomically incorrect versions. And then if he could post that and replicate it all <laughs> over town, I would give him 10 coin for that. Persuasion check. Ten coin? Uh, uh, right, 20 coin. No. <sighs> not, not for a one. Maybe a hundred. Ah, that's a little too steep. I can do a private one of you, and you can post it anywhere you want. 
Done. Of him or of you? No, of him. Okay, fair Come enough. Room, he's asleep. I'll let you stare at him. <laughs> <he's really good. laughs> wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Felix and Robert, I'm going to need just a straight-up D20 roll to see if you are involved in just an ungodly CD exploitation film. There was an old British sitcom starring Rowan Atkinson called Black Adder. Season two, they frame the Bishop of Tumble on Wells. If anyone is out there, you just have to look up that scene. That's all you have to do. That's what I'm picturing. Okay, Rob- eight. Yeah, Felix is asleep. Robert D20, straight up. Straight up four. Oh yeah, he's gonna he's gonna image that guy like one of his French women. <laughs> How much are you going to pay him for this? Ten. I told oh, you didn't miss four <laughs> In an anatomically impossible pose. Yes. Clear enough. Anything else you want to do tonight now that you've uh, disturbingly harassed your party? Now that I've lowered the uh, level of this entire program, no, I'm, I'm good now at this point. I'll try to catch. Have you seen any of Kyle's <laughs> episodes? <laughs> <laughs> I'll put my pillow back on the floor in front of the door and go back to sleep. Fair enough. Morning dawns anew. Uh, Everybody roll just a straight up D20. Let's see what order you guys wake up in. 18. 18. Nat 20. 11. 14. Uh, Nat 20 wakes up. Uh, I, you know what? I don't know what happened in this room, Robert, but it stinks to high heaven. You also notice uh, Copius is present, and you're pretty sure in the fog of alcohol that he wasn't with you. Maybe he rescued you from something. You aren't really I'm, sure. I'm going to elbow Felix a little bit and wake him up. Uh, not before Copious stirs. Uh, give me a con check there, Copious. Let's see if you're going to have a kink in your neck. Eight. You got a little bit of a kink in the neck, but it's not going to cause any harm to... Uh... It's not going to cause any harm to your attack skills, so... You'll be okay. Uh, Felix, uh, you feel a nudge in the ribs uh, and you begrudgingly wake up and, man, smells like a soccer team roomed with you guys. And you also don't really recognize why or how Copious is here. Meanwhile, over in the farmhouse, Leaf, you have fallen asleep fitfully, but Manfang rouses you early and says, hey, uh, you forgot to wake me. Uh, you, you guys are alone. Uh, and just the faint memory of the half-elf named uh, Wendling uh, is in your head. Uh, you realize you have maybe an hour before you are supposed to meet. So back. All right. Let's go with the farmhouse. Uh, you were going to trade the diamond straight up for the bug amber gem. Yep. Uh, D12 against me. 12 yeah uh, that stomps me she will accept uh, the trade well you told me it's worth 200 gold pieces so I figured that was right on spot so. sure she'll work with that so you now have the bug amber gem and even in the morning it's moving around and just kind of vibrating a little bit I'll put it in my pocket. Remind me of the pager days. Okay. It's about the size of a bean. If you're getting that one. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> back at the end of the slumbering giant, Copious, Felix, and Robert. What you want to do? When did peaches get here? The fuzz? Well, I don't know about you guys, but I want to get out of this disgusting, smelly room, and let's go find some food. Yep, I think I'm a little, just a little hungover. Oh. Smidge. Yeah, I'm, I'll be <coughs> up and heading out of that room now that they're awake. Say, uh, did you sleep it off? 
Been watching over both here. of you last night. I don't even remember coming back to the outpost. Last thing I remember, we were going in the tavern with some of those, some guy. How did we get, where are we? That's always the best story. Some guy in a tavern. <laughs> and now I'm on the phone with my credit card company trying to explain, no, I did not charge that. Uh, so uh, you guys wake up. It's a little bit before daybreak. Uh, the room is putrid. You only paid for one night. You head down to the common room, I take it. They do not serve food here, but suggest a uh, tavern. Uh, not too far uh, away, uh, just over by the wharf, or not by the wharf, uh, about a block away. Uh, it serves pretty decent food for folks who don't understand what turtles are all about. So is that where you want to go? Yeah. Uh, I want to check. Are they welcoming to non turtles at this place? Yes, the southern end is uh, for foreigners. Okay, then yes. The I north end, it. not so much. Oh. <laughs> yes, that, that's the information you have. Uh, copious, D12 against me. Boom, boom, boom. Six. Eleven. Uh, silently, a piece of paper is <laughs> shoved across to you. Okay, I'm going to try to uh, look at it without anyone else seeing what's on it. Give me a wisdom save. And the dice are not with me when it needs to be. Seven. Uh, Felix, Robert, uh, Copious uh, violently dry heaves and has a piece <laughs> of paper in his throat. <laughs> and has a piece of paper in his hand. Uh, he looks like he could just chuck uh, the smell down here is not that bad, so you guys cannot determine what the issue is. What's your problem? All right. What? What uh, you got there? What uh, is it? Bad, bad oysters last night. Oysters? There's no oysters here. You I didn't check. eat them. <coughs> what? Well, trying to follow hand. you guys. I had to cross the creek. I think I might have caught a bug. Oh yeah! Watch out for that. Yeah, you might want to stay back. Way back. And I, like, I'm assuming I can't look at Robert in the eye right now. I, no, I, I, you will not be able to look at Robert for quite some time. You will not be able to look at Robert in the <laughs> eye, in the pelvic anything. region, uh, uh, behind. I mean, you should walk next to him and put your head in a brace because what you have seen cannot be unseen. Oh, no, by right. the way, uh, he must have known he was a bard because there's also a musical instrument involved. And that's that's really all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> and if I can catch my uh, illustrator, I'm going to have her draw something. <laughs> uh, I, I don't want her to go to jail for what she draws. Just keep that. I'm... Uh, we, we've got the we've got a in at the police station. We'll be fine. Every, every time I look at Rob, I start to dry heat, right? Yes. Okay. Anytime he addresses you. Yeah, I feel the same way. I got that gut rot. Let's go get some food. Uh, the location is called the Eels Pond. <laughs> and it's uh, about a block away. Uh, straight down. As you step outside, you'll notice that uh, there are half elves, elves, uh, humans, uh, a few turtles, not very many, considering this is the capital, that's unusual. There is some mule traffic, some oxen traffic, and some wagon traffic being hauled by individuals that uh, are purveying their wares, uh, woodsmen, oil, etc. Uh, it's muddy, it's a little unkempt, it's a little dirty, but it still smells better than your room. Uh, down the way, you see it. It's got a drawing of an eel in like a coffee mug. This looks to be the place. And we go. In you go in and, and it's, it's pretty full already. Uh, and again, not that many tortles except for the proprietor. Uh, he reminds you of Mel from Alice. He's wearing a little sailor hat uh, and 
banging on a small bell telling the waitresses to get their heinies in gear. Uh, you find uh, a spot at the bar. All of the tables are full. Uh, the gruff owner wants to know what you want. Hangover cure. Oh. Make that two. Suds? Suds get you? Three. Yeah. I have just the remedy. I know uh, you would. Leaf, man fang. Uh, whew, the growl of your stomachs is starting to impede your thinking. Uh, you have maybe 45 minutes before you have to uh, meet with this Coronado Diego person. I'll go ahead and <laughs> pick out a couple of good berries and give, give one to the man fang. One of us is eating kelp and berries. The other is about to eat eel guts. That's awesome. Uh, you guys are on the north end of town. Uh, how do you want to leave? Kick open the door and start singing show tunes. That'd be my choice. Um, now, the, the inn that we're supposed to meet at's on a tavern. Their tavern. Mm -hmm. Now, are we out to what? In my when I'm looking at this, what would we're out to the right? You are out to the right. And we need to go up past the F to the top, which is what, north side of town? Yep. You can cut through town or you can... We'll work our way around, try to kind of stay out of sight as much as possible. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, you pass general business individuals walking along the road. Uh, give me perception check, man, fang, and leaf. I got a 25 I got a 10. Man, Fang, you don't hear squat. You are just enamored at the variety of people you are seeing. However, Leaf, Whoa, with his superior yeah. hearing, uh, notices that they are talking about a boat launch of two more war vessels, uh, and they are going to search the hidden coves. Yeah. I'll tell Man, Fang, what they're talking about. We okay. need to get our business done and get to the guys and get back to the boat before these clowns find us. <clears throat> yeah. Fair Man assessment. Man thing. I know. Uh, as, you, as, as you head around, do you want to go on the front door or the back door? Back door. He's a back door man. Yep, He's back a back door, door man. Uh, That's my grandson saying that shit. It wasn't me. Uh, the cook, uh, wants to know what you're doing. That's the cook. In. That's the cook. Uh, that he's carrying a, uh, Master carrying a pot though. That's not a shield. That's a pot. And oh. that is a turtle mixer, but it looks like <laughs> yeah, you know what that's you a pot. That's, no, that's not a, that's a, oh my God. It's not a cook. We'll it's just tell him we, we were just, uh, it's a roasting pan looking for the dining room. Master uh, Persuade me, Leaf. Oh, boy. 15? You foreigners don't know about front doors? Fine. Cut on through. Don't touch anything. Thank you. As uh, you wander through, a variety of items are uh, noticeable. This place has a lot, a lot of bottles. Uh, more so than you've probably ever seen, and it only has a few kegs. So this appears to be some type of wine bar. Uh, there's also a small box of, shall we say, snacks, uh, something called pretzels, which looks like brown turds covered in diamond chips. Uh, you walk out into the main <laughs> room, and there is an older... Uh, about your age, Leaf, half-elf lady, uh, decked out in finery, looks very classy, classy chick. Uh, there next to her eating something in milk uh, is the young waif that you met last night. Oh, Fruit Loops. She, she spots you guys, taps her presumed mother on the shoulder, and points. Uh, as you take one step out from behind the bar, you notice... A lot of turtles stand up, and each of them are armed. Oh boy. Ooh. It's a greeting party. How would you and Manfang like to go ahead and handle this? I'll just um, uh, go ahead and walk up and greet her. My... Manfang, what do you want to do? I'll go with you, man. I got nothing. I can't think of nothing right now. He ain't got nothing to hide. Yeah, yeah man. no coward. Yeah. As you, as you step up, 
the blades all go to your throats. Uh, oh, but the, kind of the elder half-elf, oh, gentlemen, I think we'll be fine for right now. Everybody pulls their weapons down and they resume seating. Uh, but they keep at least one eye on you guys at all times. Uh, the classy lady says, gentlemen, please sit. I understand that you have a business proposition for me. Can't lay that diplomacy on her. That's what well, I was just thinking. My role, I was going to say, no, Leaf can do this. My roles haven't been so great today. I'm not very confident in my persuasion. I don't think he's this rolled over playing. 10. I've rolled over 10. Remember, I had a 19. You, you know, better what? unmute before Manfang starts talking. <laughs> Go ahead, Manfang. Oh. <laughs> <Tell everybody laughs> uh, uh, well, that, uh, we're just uh, travelers, and we were on the uh, Cat Island and came upon some portal of ruins and managed to... Uh, find a few things and bring them back with us. We're just looking to unload them without going to jail while we do it. And you just blurt this out here in the forum. Quietly. Line. Quietly. Uh, she motions to a few of the guards who stand up and bolt the door. <laughs> so I am to understand that you two wandered through the disputed lands and have brought back portal artifacts to sell because yes. you think that's a good idea. And no, it's because back. we want to get the most money we can out of them. That's why we brought them here. And it's not two of us. Uh, dozens of us. Dozens. 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 Other companions that came with us or down on the south side of town. Deception. Let's see, what's my... Come here on the I'm a plus zero on that one. Lies. I think I'm in trouble. 16. Your friends are in the south? Some of them. Oh. <laughs> I, I would not count upon them returning. Uh, so... <laughs> I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell you a little bit. Okay. Your deception was good. I am actually in the market for some goods. Certain business issues have cropped up, and I need to replenish my inventory. As you may or may not have figured out, this place is a tinderbox, and the turtles are going to war. Now, depending upon the amount and the quality I may be interested in making you very wealthy. So you see, I hear tales of a missing turtle warship. Oh, no. What could have happened? What indeed? Uh, my associates uh, did not notice you at the docks. So curiosity dictates that I must ask you how you came to Fatar and why my daughter found you hiding in a remote farmhouse. Well, we, we came in on a, another vessel <clears throat> on the other side of the island and made our way across land. Hmm, I see. Would that be the west side or the east side? Well, I'm going to say west side because I don't know which way is west or which way is east. You point. came in on the east, so okay. you, you can be on the, Steve on the or, west, west side. Huh. And you crossed all the way across Fatar and hid on the east side. Certainly. <laughs> oh, well, that seems to be very interesting. So, uh, <clears throat> what do you have to sell? We have some uh, silver alder artifacts, tor turtle artifacts, mm -hmm. uh, turtle gold. Piece. There's a beating on the door. Open up. This is the guards. 
uh, the guard, the door turtle guards look over to Coronado and she nods. Uh, and an uh, angry group of six turtles barge in. What's the door locked? Is this place open for business or no? Nobody says shit. Uh, considering you are the only non turtles in here, who are you? Ah, I don't know what to say. To not make Use your sense. diplomacy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Er, uh, I'm a we're, we're I'm all. a I'm a druid of the forest, and this is my companion who I'm take care of. Hi, uh, I want to pet the rabbit, George. <laughs> I, I I can see why you have to take care of him. Yes, I want to know what Manfang's diplomacy was going to come out as. <clears throat> Do it, man, Fang. Go ahead and roll, roll a diplomacy. We're all dying to know. How it. Just, you guys are just mean. What? What's my diplomacy roll? It's like minus four, minus isn't it? Deception. I don't even see diplomacy on here. No. No diplomacy. That's the point. It's charisma. It's persuasion, yeah. No, persuasion. It's zero. Oh. That's yes, zero. What, 11. What 11. What were 11. you going to spin, man, Fang? That's the best part. 11's not bad. Uh, Coronado says, gentlemen, we're trying to have lunch here. Why don't you just go away and leave us be? <laughs> uh, the guards part and their leader, a private, steps forward and goes, you know, Missy, regarding recent events, I think you need to be a little bit kinder to us. You may have need of us at some point in time uh, -oh. uh every turtle in the room gets up uh and the guards quickly uh do a head count and decide they are overmatched uh coronado never missing a beat says you know that sounds like excellent advice and i will procure it and keep it safe within me thank you for the enlightening moment is there anything else i can do for you gentlemen uh, the private uh, takes his troops back out and says, with a finger point, you call us if you need us there, Diego, and leave. <laughs> uh, the turtles sit back down, and she apologizes for the interruption. Uh, mm -hmm. While you go ahead and garner your list, Copius, Felix, and Robert, you guys head in there. You're dealing with the turtle. Uh, in or turtle manager, uh, <laughs> the turtle manager, and uh, copious, you feel a firm hand on your back, enjoying a fine meal, gentlemen. Uh, it's excellent, yes. You recognize Perfect. this is Tim. I'm going to say good morning, mighty Tim. It's nice to see you this morning. It's nice to see you guys again. I see you are getting the hangover cure. Uh, Marv, put this one on my bill. Gentlemen, when you're done with your hangover cure, why don't you meet me in the back room? I think we have some mutual beneficial news for each other. And I'll, I will express my thanks uh, for his generosity at the hangover cure and then uh, try to finish it without glancing at Robert. Everybody, uh, you three roll constitution checks to see how you handle this hangover cure. 18. You are fine. Yeah, you aren't sure what's in that stuff, but it's better than tomato juice. 19. Perfectly cured. <laughs> hey, <Felix. laughs> 10. Uh, you feel a little bit better, but for some reason, it is really really hot in this place i oh, mean you're geez. you're just sweating profusely Whew. oh <sighs> damn island is just that way yeah it's you like know, that since we landed at dimbo point it's a it's a dry heat but not hey, for peaches. you hey peaches he doesn't look very good peaches peaches what <laughs> <laughs> hey peaches look at him he don't look very good, Peaches. Oh, come on, Mom. Peaches. Stop. Come on, Mom. Stop oh, going. Peaches. Peaches. You are also Peaches. getting flashes of the photo or the image that uh, contains Felix, and you 
just cannot stare deeper into the table. Hey, uh, and should, I, should I play for my meal? You want me to pull out my instrument and play? <laughs> <laughs> I think Peaches <laughs> saw enough of your instrument last night. <laughs> Again, anatomically impossible. <laughs> For, what, for the love of God, man, don't say playing your instrument again. Hey, hey Peaches, was it more of an ocarina than a flute? <laughs> it was no. a curved oboe, I believe. <laughs> it's the new ocarina of time. It, it wasn't too bad until the finger movements were displayed. <laughs> so, Felix, what's the matter? I, I don't know. Something's got me. It's just hot as hell in here. Let's. Whew. All right. Maybe it's this hangover chair. I'm just sweating the booze out or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Can right. I play thick as a brick for him? I I think that song always cheers him up. Well, Jethro Tull. Uh, yeah, we could do. That. I seem to remember. I think the problem is the bungle in the jungle. <laughs> I don't think that's the problem. Or the hastiness with the waitress. <laughs> That couldn't have been the problem. I didn't have that problem. That was a sanitary Porta John. <laughs> that was several weeks ago. I, this problem, it's just crept up since Dimbo Point. And I've been very good since Dimbo Point. 14 day incubation period. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, for you, it'd be like 26 days, I think, without looking at the calendar. <laughs> it's hey, been Charlie, about a month. We got any cheese? I'm hungry for cheese. We have a wedge. That work. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go find Tim. He's <laughs> <laughs> hops down off the, the bar stool and just like scampers. Peach uh, is gone. I assume Robert is following you. <laughs> hey, where are uh, you going? He goes into a small room where Tim disappeared to. Uh, Felix and Robert, do you want to follow him? Yeah, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> well, you're still in the the building, but you're going into a room and it has windows open. Tim has already taken arrangements for any gaseous emissions. Uh, Tim sits in a rather uh, interesting table. Uh, it's carved. Uh, it is beautiful. Uh, and it is large. Uh, it could probably seat 20. Uh, he sits at the back in a chair with a high back. Everything else are benches. Uh, gentlemen, gentlemen, good to see you. Please have a seat. I understand uh, we are going to be business partners. I'm going to look around. Sit anywhere? Sit anywhere you want. Uh, I'll nice sit to across meet you, Mr. From, uh, like in the one Batman. I'll sit across from Peaches on the other side. <laughs> so that he can't avoid your gaze. <laughs> you okay, I'm gonna sit closest to the window that I can, and I'm oh gonna. Boy, is myself. it getting hot in here? <laughs> and I'm gonna say to Tim, you know, Tim, it's nice to meet you. I hope I don't offend you, but I'm gonna remove some of the outer layers of my clothing. I feel very perspired at the moment, as you can see. That is all. Sounds to me like you're hitting on him. I know. It, it feels that we way. now know why you were the first one to get drawn. <laughs> uh, they do like my forehead. Sure, my friend. Perfect. Uh, there's a knock on the door as you guys get situated, and an individual steps in and goes, uh, "El Jefe, we have uh, we have that individual you were looking for." Tim waves him off, and the door shuts again. Uh, Business. You cannot get away from it. Uh, so uh, your fuzzy friend here tells me that uh, you have some items uh, that you need to unload with Coronado Diego. Uh, sadly, uh, Coronado Diego is no longer in business. Uh, it was an unfortunate move, but uh, business is business. Am I right? Uh, I have taken over uh, the aspects of the wheeling and dealing here in Fatar, and uh, I am more than curious as to what kind of wares you guys have to sell. Did you watch The Godfather this weekend or something? Mm -hmm. A lot, awful lot of turf wars going on. Yep. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, you know, and I was thinking of that and I'm like, there's always something going on. You just have to know where to find it. So I, I could do a whole thing with you guys enjoying just the simple life, but ah, that, that makes for poor weird. television. Oh, oh, oh. If, if Warriors, <laughs> Warriors, come out and play. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was trying to get back across the street. Oh, that's oh right. yeah, you guys are in a you guys are in your second foreign land, and clearly foreign. Not like oh, these guys look different from us. These guys look vastly different from you guys, and somehow you have found a half elf and a human being. So <laughs> Kim, aka El Jefe, uh, what you got on the table? I am interested in a variety of things. This table, for instance, uh, came from uh, Aruba on that Paladin Island. <laughs> I bet he doesn't miss it much. Copious. Copious. Right here. What's going on? Right, no, look me in the <laughs> eyes right here. What is going on? He's going to look at yeah, me. He's looking at eyes for a second. And the other trying to get me to look at him. The images are haunting me. Just look at him in the eyes for a split second and like almost vomit. So, <laughs> well, here's the best part. We don't know that Leaf has made his own arrangements with the other side. So Correct. I'm, I'm thinking Copius is just pleased as punch that he's managed to navigate these waters and is now sitting at the table with the man to take all the goods off his hands. It certainly appears that way. All so I know I, is when you're a jet, you're the top cat in town. You're the coolest around. Yeah, and well, you didn't say anything about him paying to take them off your hands. Yeah, whatever. You're with the sharks. I don't want to hear it. Um, oh, you, you're you, with you Rita Moreno. Guy about making sales. <laughs> da -na, da -na -na. Uh, right here, so, right here. I'm oh, here. Look me in the eye, Felix. Felix, Robert, do you have some of your goods listed? I only have a few goods listed with me for sure. Well. I have a small list of items that I'm looking to part ways with, yes. <sighs> I am interested in uh, all things foreign and domestic. Well, you know, we've, we've got some just normal items, some gems, uh, some jewelry, some illegal fireworks, and, you know, just <laughs> a couple of books. What kind of books? I'm an avid reader. Uh, it's... A book about vampires. Uh, you know. They don't sparkle, do they? Uh, only in the sunlight. No, Abraham Lincoln. What other books you got? We've got a, a book of gambling, but I'm... Gambling, you say? Gambling, yes. I'm a bit of a gambler myself. You don't say. I... I, I'm not very good. <laughs> Felix is now suddenly trying to contain his excitement. Really? I, I did not expect that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you, you know, it just I've gambled a day or two in my death time, but I don't really know the rules or the ins and outs, but I'm always interested. Oh, you are Felix, learning far, far and Felix. away better than I am. But you know, maybe we maybe we will get the chance to roll. Uh, what do they call those things? Bones, I believe. Roll the yeah, bones. bones. Yeah, they call I think bones. That's what yeah. they call I'm, that. Uh, I mean, you know, that's what I've been told. I've heard it I, through the grapevine. I I was gifted with a, a special pair of dice, but you know, I don't roll them that often. And he shows them to you, and you know those golden skull dice that you had with the silver pips. He has platinum dice with diamond pips. <laughs> Those are some interesting Copious. dice you have. Copious, get him back under control. Copious, look at me. Get him under control. <laughs> where, where did you come by those dice? Oh, you know, found them lying around. I have to polish them a lot, and he takes out a monocle. <laughs> Maybe once our business is concluded or during the final throes of business, we can. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, we can see what happens there. there. There's your warriors. 
<laughs> it's not the bottles, it's the dice. I will tell you guys right now, Felix is just totally lost his entire train of thought. All he can think about is gambling at this point. It's been too long. Copius will jump up on the table. <clears throat> He's a short little dude. He can barely see over this, even standing on the bench. I'll say here are a couple of our major pieces we think have the most value that we would like to see someone who can appreciate these fine pieces. Oh, we, I, I, I love pieces. We have some museum quality pieces that we've stumbled across. Uh, so ones are a set of silver altar pieces engraved with the name Kagor on them. Uh, the other is a conquistador helmet, copper conquistador helmet with leather bindings that I think you'll find is an excellent quality. Those would be the, the couple for sure. And then I have this fine tortoiseshell pimp cane that may be of offering. I am quite partial to it, however. Uh, do you have them with you? Uh, I do have the uh, pimp cane with me. The altarpieces are with our uh, compatriots outside the city. We were didn't want to bring them through town in case they, were, you know, were people misunderstood That's our wise. intent. That, that, that is very wise. You are you you guys. I appreciate that. You guys are wise businessmen. Uh, could I have uh, one of my individuals who uh, I call him my cane guy? Take a look at this. Certainly. Are you are you getting the whole Rick and? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Either that or those. Uh, I got a guy for that. you guys. Whatever right the there. hell they're called, the Bayou yeah. Pawn Shop. Or something. That's right. Uh, so uh, he calls in the guy, uh, an, an elderly old turtle. Uh, slowly makes his way in. He uses an ivory cane, uh, and he he nods somewhat elderly and says, uh, "Yes, El Heffy, what can I do for you?" Uh, and he waves his hand to Copius, and he says, uh, this individual has uh, a silver cane that, uh, you know, I, I don't know how much to uh, offer for it. Uh, the elderly man kind of squints at you, Copius, and goes, where's all your hair? <laughs> I am aerodynamic for the summer. Uh, huh? It's just a look. It's just a phase, Mom. It's just a phase. Uh, where's this cane? And don't be doing any funny stuff. I'll, I'll lift the cane up. I he he's had it with him. Uh. Uh. Huh. El Jefe thinks for a minute and he goes he needs a new cane how about uh, 40 gold pieces uh, you know I'm rather partial to the cane I think I'll just keep it with me for now it is a classy looking cane uh but his cane is that ivory, you know, it's splintered in pieces. How about, uh, you know what? This is stupid. I've just met you guys, but I have, I have a feeling. I like you guys. I, how about 80 for the old man? I do it for the old man. 800? Uh, 80. Yeah. I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to hold on to it. It goes with the rest of the ensemble. You know, oh, people, I, you know, I, you know what? I, 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 I don't blame you a bit. 80 is the best I can offer you, though. Mm -hmm. uh, I understand. It but you have piqued my interest. So if you guys go get some stuff uh, and bring it back, I will be more than happy to go ahead and offer you fair market value. Um, and I do have another piece I'm just interested in. I'm trying to decipher what its purpose was, if it was yeah. just a, a, a classic piece or if it was a... Um, a, a temple piece, what exactly it came from. It was just, you know, brick rack. Uh -huh. it, it's a little statuette of a dolphin. Wow. Yeah. Do you have it? I do right here. Uh, as soon as you pull it out, he goes, 
I will give you 500 gold pieces for that. That is a pretty item. Really? What was its purpose? I don't know. It's just pretty. It appeals to me. Ah, I have a lady friend who likes dolphins and... uh... Well... (laughs) I almost said something about Robert Felix. (laughs) Yeah, I have, I have this. That might appeal to your lady friend. <laughs> what do you want, Copious? Uh, so no, I, I this, <laughs> one, this is a true treasure. I am a collector of of statuettes, uh, but I was just wondering if if there was any specific meaning to this statuette. Copious will tuck it back in as jerkin. <sighs> Uh, that is something uh, that was uh, carved by one of the masters of the Tortle Nation. Uh, his name was Hummel. <laughs> really, he has a whole line of large-headed, small, young turtles that he does? Uh, he does a lot of seascapes. Okay, good. I may be on the lookout for some more. Hummel, you say? Hummel. Good Fine craftsman. Play. Very uh, very collector-esque. Uh, meanwhile, back in the other tavern that you haven't gotten the name for because you came in through the back door, Leaf and Manfang. Uh, Coronado Diego appears to be ready to do business. Wants to know what you got, when she can expect delivery, and uh, how much you're asking. The first Please. thing I'm going to ask her, uh, now, like I said, we don't have everything with us. Our partners on the other side of town which uh apparently your daughter (laughs) said was dangerous for them uh have some of it is it possible you could send one of your men down to find them they're gnomes and humans and it'd be easier for them to go down and get them than for us to try to make it through town and it'd be that way we could complete all of our business at once. I don't. Uh, her daughter gets up and uh, shrugs her shoulders, heads out the front door, and she goes, uh, "I will send a runner for them." Do you know where they're at? They were going to an end on the south side. Uh, the end of the slumbering giant, I assume? I, I guess. Uh, I don't know if your friends will be returning, but uh, we will see what we can do. Uh, are you hungry? Uh, yeah, I could. Uh, do, well, I'm all right. I won't starve. Do you like yak? Yeah, we can do some yak. Man thing, you want to eat some yak? Sure. Constitution rolls, checks, not saves. See how you like it. Drop my die. 18. 11. Which is actually 21 for me. Leaf, you like it. Uh, Man thing, it's okay. You've had better. Not too bad. Uh, about an hour passes. Um, uh, Coronado gets to know you. You get to know her. Uh, you figure out that there is a turf war in town, and that is what her concern is over the friends in the South End. Uh, she will point out at one time uh, the South End was her bastion, uh, and her second in command, a notorious asshole, uh, has. Uh, turned her otherwise faithful individuals against her, and they are in the throes of a brutal trade war, not to mention the fact that the Tortles are going to war with the Tabaxi. Uh, You have entered into the battleground, and the bartender, Pat Benatar, brings you out another round of yak. I got a thing for Pat Benatar now. You need to settle that shit now. So it's the will, 80s music, man. Will the little one be okay going down there? Oh, no. I'm not sending her. No, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I thought you said she got up and left. She did. No, oh, okay. She ain't going down there. 
Okay. She's, go she's going to get the uh, envoys. Uh, okay. So meanwhile, back at uh, Eel, uh, Eel Pond, uh, you know, El Jefe is ready to uh, show me the goods. Uh, we're, we just need to go travel to, to re retrieve them. Uh, but is there a place outside of town we could meet rather than trying to bring them from town? Uh, yes, there is a uh, cliff just outside of town that overlooks the bay. It should be, a, it's got a small glade there and uh, it should be away from prying eyes. I think it would be safe for all of us because we don't want any of, uh, shall we say, entanglements uh to occur uh and it'll give us a nice view of the ships leaving yeah, i'm gonna whisper to robert and copious i don't like the idea of doing this exchange on top of a cliff <laughs> i can't fly i don't like doing the exchange with the guy that is not the guy that uh hub above <laughs> whatever the hell his name is Aruba, 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 Aruba. Tuba. Aruba Tuba. i was close arugula I'm going to ask uh, Tim if Aruba Tuba would be our contact. You know what? I think that's an excellent idea. Where did you guys meet Aruba Tuba at? Uh, I think it was, well, I'm going to look at Robert. Oh, not R Robert. I'm look at <laughs> You're looking at Robert. Who's <laughs> <laughs> on the, it was on the west side, wasn't it? West side over by the docks. <laughs> He just gets real close to him again. What did you say? Can't West side over by the docks. It was uh, not just on outside the of town. It was on the here. north side. <laughs> <laughs> over by the Citadel? Right. Yeah. We're, we're new to the area. That's what it is. I don't know. Uh, I'll take deception checks. <clears throat> Deceptions for both of you. Uh, at disadvantage for uh, Copious, since he was looking at Robert. 19. Oh, uh, my friend, I, I don't know what's wrong with you. Uh, you seem a little on the ill side, uh, but your your friend. So uh, north side on the docks, huh? At, outside. On the north side, outside of town, dock side. Uh, El Jefe picks up a silver bell that you had not seen. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Three guards walk in, heavily armed guards, and he goes, could you go find Aruba Tuba? These individuals spoke with him on the north side by the Citadel. I would like to have a word with him, please. That way we may get an exchange going. He'll have to work on the east side of town. Please let him know that. Yes, El Jefe. And the three of them leave. Uh, outside, Copius, Felix, and Robert, give me a perception check. 17. 20. 20. Dirty 20. 20. 20. All, three, all three of you hear a disturbance out in the main area, and the three guards quickly come back in and say, El Hefe, there's a problem outside. Well, time to zip back up. <laughs> What seems to be the problem, El Hefe? I do not know. Uh, let's go out and find out together. After uh, you? He, he walks his way out, and there is a cadre of guards out in the establishment, and El Hefe is trying to calm them uh, and asks to speak with their commander. Uh, El Hefe does not look pleased when the commander steps forward, the turtle has a jagged scar, a.k.a. like man fang, on both sides of his face. He is called Victor. He's ugly. Uh, he's ugly. He ugly. Your mama say you ugly. Uh, Victor says, look, we have you. And he points at Robert. Yeah, of uh, course. Who are you? I am the bard, Robert of Zeppelin. 
How long have you been here, Bard Robert of Zeppelin? Long enough for uh, this to happen. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I so wanted to. <laughs> what did you say, Copius? <laughs> As he gets out his flute. It's like, ah, we've been here but the other night. Just one night. I see. Are these two your compatriots? Yeah. We're just trying some of the... You three are under arrest. For what? Murder. I don't know anything about this. Murder? That's impossible. We were escorted by guards the entire night. They look it over at El Jefe and El Jefe... Never seen these guys before in my life. That is true. We just met him this morning. We were escorted by the guards all night. They took us to the inn. We we were we never left the room from the inn until this morning. We went to we came here. And here and I can prove it. If you smell that room, you will know somebody was in there all night. If that's true, why is that one guy sweating so much? <laughs> And zipping up. <laughs> yeah. It's we were alcohol. just in the back room in there. It's a little hot after. You like yeah, it? look at this. And, you know, ah! the one, and the other one's a known flesh purveyor. Uh, uh, and the one looks like a fuzzy navel. Gentlemen, give me perception rolls for what's happening behind you. Oh, my God. Uh Felix, you are the only one to notice El Jefe is uh kind of doing a stealing third sign to one of his guards, and the guard drops his weapons and say, I confess, the four of us killed that man. Take us into custody. Never met this man before in my life. Hmm. He says you've just killed somebody. I just said we were. I know what you said, guards. and I know what he said, foreigner. You're coming with us. City guards escorted us all night. The captain of the guard at the main gate saw us, attached them to us. We are here to sample fine wines. We are salesmen. I want to do two two things. I'm going to first. I'm going to use fae presence to try to charm the guy, and then I'm going to cast illusion. Okay. So what's my save? So your save on the charm would be DC 15. That's a 16 on the die roll. Oh, fucker. And the illusion? <laughs> uh, there's a copious standing there, and the other copious is casting uh, 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 his teleport spell and bouncing whatever direction to the nearest corner of a building is. Okay. You are outside. <laughs> Meanwhile, normal co or fake copious. <laughs> right now, that could be normal copious, too. Uh, Robert, Felix, faux copious. Uh, fine. Let's go to the guard station, and you may show us which guard escorted you, allegedly. Jesus, let's see if I can remember. <laughs> oh, uh, let's do that. Uh, they take you out. El Jefe says... My friends, new friends, <clears throat> people I've just never met, uh, good luck. And the turtle who dropped his weapons moves his flippers up and goes along peacefully. You three are... Now, Copius, can your illusion move or are they going to have to beat him to death? No, I believe it's uh, fully functioning. As long as I concentrate on it, it's fully functioning. Uh... It will stop though after like a minute, but okay. Cop Copius will be gone. Uh, and it, he's going to play the routine he did last time, he's going to try to disappear around the corner, sure, and, hide, and then try to keep an eye on where they're heading and follow. Sure, not a problem at all. Should actually be rather easy. So, gentlemen, you are right here. Uh, the guards tell you we're going this way. And they spell it out. Uh, they flank each of you. Uh, and with the other El Jefe Tortle leading the way, uh, you guys head that way. Do you follow or do you decide to dispute this issue? Uh, how many is there? Eight. 
I'm following. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to follow too because I still think that the guards will agree with our story. Sure. Uh, just as you get into the alley, uh, the tortle from El Jefe's group says, you know, I'm just trying to be as peaceful as and takes a crossbow bolt to the back of the head uh, from one of the Tordo guards who has just iced him. Uh, he turns around. Do you know how much danger you're in? <laughs> and Copius is gone. Uh, the eight guards look at each other and aim Ooh. their weapons at you. Uh, where is your friend? That's not our friend. I never met that son of a bitch. Little rat faint looking son of a fuzzy neighbor. Cover my ears, man. You go future. ahead. I'll, my ears are covered. Go ahead and say what you're going to say. Earmuffs. <laughs> Earmuffs. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell his mother. Uh, He's right over there. So, uh, you two are being interviewed uh, and they want to know where Copius is at. I don't know. He was with that Tim guy. I'm, he that Tim right guy is El Jefe. He is an underworld figure. Don't know that guy either. All what I are you doing is, with underworld figures? Are they speaking common? All I know is we were eating, and he said, follow me, gentlemen, and he bought my food, so I followed him to the next room. Do you always that follow strangers into room for guy. food? I don't know. That little ugly rat <laughs> dude, son of a bitch. Had something going on, some kind of underhand <laughs> feeling. We kept going, I don't know him. I don't know him. Next thing I know, you guys show up. We're getting escorted out. Well, you guys are going to follow us, or you guys are going to end up like him. Did I not say we were going to the guard shack? We aren't going to the guard shack. Let's go to the guard shack. How about you just follow us and shut up? How about you just walk? He puts his blade right underneath <laughs> your chin and says, I don't like you, but I've got my orders. You're coming. That's okay. With us. Most people don't like me, so. I mean, I wouldn't like myself if I were you. Uh, you follow me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys follow? <laughs> yeah, we follow. Copious, uh, uh, you'll be following yeah. at a distance, so give me stealth. Oh, my God. 15. Yeah, you're hiding pretty well. Uh, you guys cross the only bridge, which is this enormous turtle shell across. Uh, and for some reason, you avoid the plaza and go down this side street. To the Citadel? Nope. In between. <laughs> and you are led to uh, the Tavern of the Lusty Winch. Oh, Sarah. Okay. Oh, Felix. 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 His knees get weak as he sees the uh, sign. He starts to sweat. And the oh, sign. Yeah. The sign is embossed, so it is uh, very outstanding. Uh, you guys are ushered in. The guards do not go inside. Uh, as your eyes readjust, uh, you hear your associates. Man Fang is in the middle of telling a very diplomatic joke uh, to a tall lady. <laughs> so, with the party reunited except for Copius, who is outside, Copius, you notice an individual, a Torto, steps out, hands each of the guards a uh, several coins, and they leave. But I, I can't see inside the tavern, though, correct? Nope. And then you feel... No easy way to say this. A small prick in your back. Oh, Robert got loose. <laughs> <laughs> a little, little prick. What you doing? Uh, is that a dagger in my your pocket? Or you that is a dagger. Okay, just checking. Uh, I've I'm, seen Deadpool too. You know that line. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, is. I'm, I was watching my friends were just escorted up to this lovely establishment. I was just following. Let's rejoin your friends. And you feel the tip 
Just the tip. <laughs> Go in on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Felix. Oh my god, flashbacks to the poster again. (laughs) You are pushed across the street towards the end of the lusty winch. You do not know who is leading you or what, but it is a female. I'm just going to point out that uh, I usually don't let people get to second base without their name uh, to the person pushing me across the the, street. the the point pushes in a little bit deeper as Woo-hoo! your humor falls on deaf ears. I'm just going to whisper it. You know, I like the rough stuff. Copious. It's a female with a tip in your back. That ain't a female. I'm sorry. This is New Orleans, baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's 3 a.m. and you aren't really uh, sure what's going on. Oh, look at Felix. He's starting to sweat and reel. <laughs> Felix is pretty sure he died and went to heaven. Uh, you get pushed in. Uh, the room is filled with turtles and your companions. And for the first time, you notice that it is an adolescent half elf who has gotten the drop on you with a nat twenty stealth roll. Oh! So I didn't even <laughs> I didn't even bother to have you roll. I'm like, nope, gotcha. Uh, a compliment her on her stealthiness. Now, you, are- can you get that little prick out of my back. <laughs> she, she she looks over at. Man Fang and says, it's over there. <laughs> <laughs> she wanders off to the bar where a bowl of milk with something in it is being served to her, and she turns her back on the proceedings. Uh, a lady, an elder half elven woman, very stately, very put together well, uh, looks over at Leaf and Man Fang. Are these your friends? Yes, yeah. they are. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh, Copious, are you big, okay, buddy? Uh, Look at me. Are you all on the hip? What the absolute hell is going on? Oh, to introduce you to Coronado. Is that her name? Coronado Diego. There you go, boys. Oh, this is Coronado. Why this were is you Coronado. Who have we been talking to? What, you were working with Tim there, Copious. Why were you in the league with Tim? You're working with El Jefe. Oh, you were working with El Jefe. That's right. Not Tim, but El Jefe. El I wasn't Jefe. working with El Jefe. Working with El I Jefe. followed you two knickknacks, drunkest skunks, into El Jefe's place. He said he was Coronado. He said he took over for Coronado. I am Coronado, and he was my trusted lieutenant until a few weeks ago. So is he as big a tool as he seemed? Yes. <laughs> Plus, he... He has an innkeeper who deals in pornography. What? Oh, I am aghast. <laughs> yes, there are pe- there are peepholes in every room. Wait, oh. every, every room you say? Every room. Oh. Felix is having it. flashbacks of the There's night before the and people. remembering that those were those dreams were awful vivid. Now that he thinks about those it, those weren't pillows. Those weren't pillows. Wait, wait, wait till you see the one of Copious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I put, I'm one of the French girls. Yes. Uh, and that's exactly how he drew you. <laughs> well, I'm like one of your French girls, Jack. Copious has no shame. Jordan Curry. <laughs> None of us have any shame. Uh, so, um, uh, we Tornado. were just setting down to do some business. Do you guys have any items that this individual says you have? I don't know what you're talking about. Is it? I have the silver altar pieces, altar pieces with me, and the and the the helmet, the conquistador helmet, because I left it with you. I didn't take it with me into town. Are you going to now reveal it? I will yeah. reveal the conquistador helmet, and I'll show her the silver. Oh, Wait a pieces. minute. Copious has no bags. Where do you pull that out of? I had it. It's an acorn shape. Felix, let me pull it out of your purse. He's keystring. First of all, that's a prison wallet. Not a prison, <laughs> that's, that's a prison wallet. Uh, it's not a wallet anymore. I'll pull it. Can I keystring or how much been in that thing? It's a binder. Oh, a wallet. It's a prison <laughs> binder. I believe that's oh, called geez. a gunny sack. That's a duffel bag. <laughs> Uh, well, I'll bring out this that 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 to start with. Uh well, this is an exquisite piece. 
Uh, how many of these do you have? You just you know. said silver alder pieces. I don't know how many was in that grouping. Six. Oh, I thought you meant the conquistador helmet. Oh, no, so that's his. One yeah. helmet is all that we found. Right. That is a very ancient helmet, and there is only one of these. This is worth a lot of money. Uh, more than I can probably afford. The silver pieces, uh, those I can afford. I will give you... I will give you 1,100 gold pieces for these. I know I can sell it for more. But That's it's all take right. You've got to deal with it. Gentlemen? Fair enough from my perspective. All right. We'll, we'll do that. Me. Okay. Sell the 11, uh, the silver pieces for 1,100 gold. Yep. Uh, she will give the heads up, uh, and a small trunk comes out, about yay big. Uh, she opens it. You cannot see into it. And she pulls out the credit card, yay thick uh, piece of platinum. Uh, and then she throws some gems on there. Uh, the helmet I cannot buy. It is far too expensive, although I would like to have it. Uh, what else you got? Um, we also have with us an Ankh from the temple. If she's interested in that, are you I could probably sell it uh, 50 gold pieces. All right. Oh, right. We've got this mace with an onyx in it. Yeah. Don't we have that? Uh, um, may I inspect it? Yes. Don't we have that like shell of a slime or whatever it was, like the slug? No, we didn't bring that with us, Man Fang. All right. Because it's magical. We can sell it on the main continent to a magic user or someone. Yeah. Hey. Base of ceremonial, I can give you 125 for it. Right. I'll show him my cane. So, <laughs> this is very special to me, but uh, I would be curious at its value. It's like Antiques Roadshow. Here. Uh, you'd be surprised. This is the uh, pimp cane of King Henry the Twelfth. Oh. Uh, okay. of Monteroy and uh, its value exceeds 12,000 pounds. Uh, she looks at it and says uh, it is an interesting piece. Uh, may I, do you trust me? Of course do you, you have like a choice. <laughs> she smashes it on the <gasps> table and tears the silver tip off Again of it. Begin with the tips. Pour it off too. Remember and, and that. Tips it, and stones slide out of the center. And she gives the cane a flick. There are four stones in there, and they each glow. But any stones? Oh. oh, how big are the stones? That was the pink cane. Uh, they the vary. Pin, the pin uh, cane. But, but none of them are, all of them would have fit in the center of the cane, uh, but they would have been held to get, yeah, about the size of dice. They fit so. inside of a pent gauntlet. So well, that makes your no, pent cane strong. I, 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 you're um, going to end up on rings. Are you kidding? I'm going to, on my own here, I'm going to cast Detect Magic, bro. Oh, oh yes. I want to add, for so they're magic stones. So. I'm going to ask the lady, I said, because we can see they have a glow to them or mm -hmm. they're dazzling. I'm, I'm oh. going to ask her if she knows what they are. I know what these are, uh, but I'm going to have to take one of them uh, since I am the one that found them. But you may have the other three and I will even give you the pick. Oh, please, please, fine lady, I appreciate the offer. Because you're going to kill us if we say no anyway. So really, it's a pretty... I'm, I'm a tough copious that they're magic. Thanks. Oh, you couldn't see that when they were in the cane? Nope. Uh, there is a scarlet and blue sphere. There is a incandescent blue sphere. There is a deep red sphere. Oh, God. These are the colors. And there is a pink rhomboid. Yeah, and can she, she provide says, any detail? She says these are the legendary Ioun stones of which my people guarded with their life. I don't know how they ended up in a cane, a pimp cane, no less. 
Certainly, Pimp Cane. Um, each of these will bestow magic powers, although without attuning it, I'm not sure. I know that legend has it that uh, two of these stones uh, make you smarter. I think I need one of those. Man. What? I think you need both. I think of you them. need I like need... twelve of them. Depends <laughs> 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 on how smart. Even if it gives me like, like plus one hundred intelligence, I'm still going to be rolling ones. She will point out that one, well, two, two of the stones seem to be missing. There should have been six. There should be six out of game. Uh, these will help you with each of your major attributes, although two of them are missing. Mm. And she mm. can't provide any detail about which ones of the, the four stones are do which. She would not be able to hazard a guess. Uh, could, uh, so it, it would an be arcana, a pick. Could an arcana roll do it? Nope. Nope. I guess uh, so I, I, I'm going to tell this is copious is thinking. Totally copious. Uh, even in game, this is literally what Copius would do. He's looking at the stones going, I'm going to have them set into rings. So the three that will fit on the rings to go on his finger are the three he will keep. And whatever the other one is that looks too big for a ring, he'll say, here, it's yours. Um, I want to say, how would you be able to use these? Uh, they, bestow, they bestow the power of the stone onto the owner after a week. You attune them. And I assume under two, how many can you attune at one time? One. Yeah. Uh, all of them are small enough to be set into proper settings. Uh, you could even, uh, she'll tell you that uh, whichever stone you do not pick, I'm going to put in a necklace. Well, that was, I was going to throw one of them in a necklace anyways, because, you know, I need some nice gorget kind of thing. Yeah. Well, give her one, Copious. Uh, it's Scarlet blue sphere, incandescent blue sphere, deep red sphere, and a pink rhomboid. Give her the pink one. She would be, she'll tell you that she is partial to. Yep. Yeah. What would she like? The pink one. I'm going to tell her. I, I said, uh, if she's partial to the pink one, I have one other object that if she would be so kind to help me identify, because I think it's special, but I can't figure out how, um, I would certainly give her choice out of the four items. Uh, caveat, uh, opportunity to purchase said item. Oh, uh, I'm not sure I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that that would be okay, but I'd be willing to pay for the service. Allow me to look at it and I will name my price. Fair enough. Name your price, but I have the option of not going with it and retaining the item and whatever the price I am nothing if I am not fair. I can see that about you, fair lady. So I'll pull out the dolphin again. Hmm. A Hummel. A Hummel, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Very rare. Most of them are in the hands of private collectors. This one appears to be exquisite. Uh, very nice. Nice piece. I would offer four. Four gold? Four hundred. Four hundred gold for it? Does it have any special properties? Looks it's pretty. gorgeous. I've been told that there it is uh, may have something special about it, but I can't quite. Is it is it glowing blue, Frank? Oh, it was magical, wasn't it? It yes. was. It is magical. Yeah, That's yes. why I'm asking. <laughs> it, it is magical. Uh, I would not have any idea if it were magical or not. I just All know right. that these statuettes. I'm told rumor by drunkards say some of them had magical abilities. Uh, this I just find very pretty. All right. Well, thank you for that. Uh, the pink rhomboid is hers. Okay. Um, all I'm right. Try to tune to that dolphin on my own just to see I what got happened. that. Got that. How about? Uh, no, she probably didn't want that. The Ion stones add one to intelligence, one wisdom, and one dexterity. Scarlet blue, incandescent blue, and deep red, respectively. Intelligence, wisdom, dexterity. She got constitution. Uh, what were the what were the linkages for the colors? Deep red was what? Deep red is the last dexterity. Okay, and then it, scarlet, and can, blue. scarlet and blue is intelligence. 
and wisdom for the other. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else you got? I've got she, said, um, she, can't, she can't afford the helmet, huh? That's interesting. Uh -uh. We do have uh, turtle gold pieces too. So do I. Now we'd like to get rid of the ones we've got. Can I change them, exchange gold oh. pieces for yeah. 10? Oh, we can do that. Okay. Should give you a cut of 80%. That'll work for me. Uh, you I, know, I think I might be able to afford that helmet. But I need a favor from you guys. Of oh, course. Boy. Wait, she can't afford it. So her offering is that we'll do her a favor and then she'll afford it? Mm hmm. Wow, this is <laughs> does it have anything to do with going on the south side of this town and uh, it does indeed <laughs> that's what I thought she wants you to find a box of hers that was stolen by the ruthless El Jefe and is secreted in one of their drop zones if you guys can go there and get me this box it is a rosewood box decorated in coral I would then have the funds to offer you a very reasonable deal. A runner comes in. They look harried and wish to speak with Diego. Uh, she excuses herself from the table, gets up, talks to them, comes back and appears to be mildly upset so uh we can give you the location of this drop house if you can go obtain the box i believe i can make you a suitable deal is this inside the city or outside the city it is inside the city it's uh were you guys at the end of the slumbering giant by chance yes. it is not far from there I don't okay. believe that El Jefe is aware of its existence. I, as she's discussing this, I, I'm going to say that our only concern is getting back through town. We have had yeah. some difficulties traveling through town with the guards. The guards were my responsibility. That was the only way I could get you out of El Jefe's grasp. So there should be no more guard entanglements. He does not own the guards. I own the guards. I do not own them to the extent that I can just remove if, El Jefe, though. If something happens to El Jefe or any of his... Uh, that would be unfortunate. Uh, Fair enough. No witnesses. I'm good with it. You can tell by her tone she is fine with that. <laughs> I like the idea of really sticking it to El Jefe if we have the opportunity. Yeah, There's a special nice. place in hell for traitors and miscreants. El Jefe should probably see that place soon. Uh, is there any concern if the slumbering giant were to uh, suffer a catastrophic event? Fire damage? Uh, <laughs> Is there insurance cover fire damage? The problem with real estate is it's valuable only when it is intact. Are you intending to take the slumbering giant back then? Yes. Mm. Okay, that would We're not actually going to the slumbering giant, right? Did you say it was a building close to it? Correct. Yeah, okay. but I was thinking why we're, you know, there, you don't travel to a vacation spot and then fail to go, you know, see everything. Setting a fire at the slumbering giant with everybody trapped inside would certainly create a big distraction while we got what we needed. Can we just set another house on fire? I don't the think, uh, uh, to be honest, since we are all being honest with each other, uh, the drop house is going to have its own traps. They, they don't call this murder hobo ink show for nothing. Nope. 
Says, says the man with two parchments of pornography of his fellow associates. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and one of of Robert? Yes, yeah. Robert and Felix. I, I think no, Hocus no, no. just wants to burn it down so that the photo, the scrawlings of him are destroyed. <laughs> Damn. Keep, keep in <laughs> mind that the Felix, that's artwork. That's that's a label for uh, the brewery. That's there is a period interest involved here. Yes. 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 Hey, Felix, like that's what Larry back. Flint claimed when he went to court the first time. It was it art. was artwork. It's art. Hey, I know art when I see it. And right, I can't that, describe it, but I know when I see it. That thing of Robert, that is that is nightmarish. That is mind altering stuff. But the yeah, Felix but you one, that's because you liked it, you sick bastard. That's like Cthulhu old gods kind of picturesque. That's what that was. That's this Japanese animation can't even describe that. Neither can manscaping. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I said right. like we have a deal. She's going to take yep. the helmet off her hands, but she hasn't actually quoted a price, correct? Correct. I, I would like to know the price before we do this favor. Now, I'm still committed to doing the favor, but I would like to at least have an idea what the reward is. It is a special item, so I will <laughs> quote you above the regular price. Oh. 4,000 gold pieces or 4,000 gold pieces in gems. I'm going to huddle with, our, with the party here. I'll get right next to Copious. What's up, buddy? <laughs> 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 Oh. Felix is sweating and rhythmically moving <laughs> to try and ease the strain as well. You know, I, I, for one, don't know who this person is, but she's been more than uh, fair with us, and she is one of my people. So. so here's the thing. We dumped the couple of items we fear we couldn't dump anywhere else. That's right. We're still sitting on a ton of gems and other monetary goods at this point. Whatever We never happened. would have known about the gems in that cane if she wouldn't have showed them to us. That's right. But we also have the opportunity to cut and run the minute we leave this tavern. Sure we do. Also, there is the time frame of uh, Aruba Tuba's uh, tabaxi friends showing up. Showing up uh, to battle, you mean? No, they're going to show up where Haggis has currently gotten the Pistorius hidden. Oh. And, and they just launched well, out and, two more ships to start searching the cove. And Crapstain's supposed to return back to check on us. It's been one night. Days. I think we told him two days and come back, right? Yeah, right. the next day he's going to be coming back. It's only been one. We need if we're going to do this, we need to do it right now. It has to be done, done fast, and we have to be heading out of town today. I think that farmhouse. We tell them we're not coming back to this location. We'll meet her, at whoever the farmhouse. at the farmhouse. So we're heading okay. back to our skiff, and we can head back out to sea. All right. She cautions you: do not put the helmet on under any circumstances. Man thing, you heard her. Put the helmet on. Wait, I want to put the helmet on. Uh, Let Felix try it on. He likes to try on strange items. She holds out a key. Okay. Copious, I'll take the key. What's this for? Get in the, get in the get oh, Okay, got it. I'm going to put right. it right down in Copious' <clears throat> codpiece. I would be remiss if I didn't say the traps are not of this... Ugh. Magic Damn trap. It. Yes. Tagus. We're gonna we have Felix. You're a thief. You should be able to disarm some stuff, right? I can disarm stuff. I haven't been able to do it this entire time because we've been in the jungle. And I've uh I can't even draw you a map because the inside of the structure changes. Oh God. Oh, it's like that staircase from Harry Potter that floats. It's a fun house. It is a fun house. All right. Let's do it. We're doing it. Well, let me ask you this. You just want the rosewood box, right? I just want the rosewood box. Anything else you find inside is your right. we, we made room in our bag, right? So we've got space to steal whatever's not nailed down. 
Yep. The box shouldn't be so, anything. Well, let's large. take guys, let's trader the the turtles. The coins for gems. For gems, yeah. Or so platinum. We get that extra weight out. She whipped out that platinum bar. Yeah. She's got platinum bars, but uh, right. gemstones. Platinum bars uh, are if, all right. If you too. want a platinum lot of bars, are, are lighter weight than all this gold. Either way, think of it as Mandalorian. Uh, that's, metal. Bar. that's at eighty percent. I know what yes. I've got wrote down. If you guys write down what you got, I did, but I don't know where we oh, where we overlap. Yeah, we all, I don't know either. We all got around three seventy five. I think that sound right. What? Well, for each of us. I wrote down we the party the party had a thousand gold and total coins at one point. We had more than that. We found another batch, uh, and then we found a whole bunch of gems which we didn't bring with us because the gems we figured we could dump anywhere. We had yep. like ten thousand gold and gems. We have a lot of gems. Yeah, we have a lot of gems. She can uh, take those small gems and give you big gems. We didn't bring them. Like the magic items, they stayed on the ship. Gotcha. Yeah. So, all right, let's do it. Let's trade. Trade what uh, your accounting. I'm going to assume your accounting includes what I had written on mine for party. Because I had, we each had 300 total gold plus the party had an additional thousand gold later on. So <clears throat> we would have had like 2,500 gold. Total coins total is what I had ended my accounting on. Three hundred for each. Well, that'd be right, twenty five hundred because I had a set three seventy five each. I missed a lot somewhere. You were whoring in the portage on. That sounds <laughs> like pretty much. Or going insane from uh, the Tabaxi ruins. That also is possible. I only had thirteen hundred gold for the party. Uh, that was where you. Old stuff. <laughs> but, oh my diamond! <laughs> he so, thought he didn't tell so her, if, but he had extra stuff. Yeah. If you, we each had three seventy-five, then eighty percent of that's three hundred. Right. About yeah, that works. And then so AJ just, just had you know about eight hundred more, a little extra. <laughs> oh, well, where did these come from? <laughs> yeah. 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 Whoops! I didn't realize that those weren't party. <laughs> okay, party well, gold. Let's head out. We can get an escort to get us back far the way. Or are we gonna be okay? She said we'd be okay. All right, well, let's, let's go back the way we came in then. And did she agree with uh, meeting us on the east side to save time for us at the farmhouse? The little one knows where it's at. She will agree, but do not be late. We. Got we're it. moving as fast. I, we're going to tell it. We have a time frame. We have a ship to catch. Yep. What, what kind of a ship? A small sailing ship that we uh, to go to another port to grab uh, our merchant vessel. Deception check. You've seen. Uh, thank God that curse is gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nailed that one. 24. <coughs> okay. Uh, we will meet you at sundown. At the farmhouse. Okay. okay. You Sounds guys, good. you guys have about five, six hours to get this done. Dun, right. dun, 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 dun. Uh, she gives you a rough sketch or a rough idea where this building is. Uh, Quick, Felix, put on the mask. Where is the? Is she going to tell us where the box is at inside of it? The rooms change. Remember, it moves. Yeah, but how would we? be able to identify the if it's hidden you'll find it okay. <laughs> or it will find you yeah. it'll find you that's all right I'm right there you guys yeah, everybody cool with this man fang what do you think he's ready for some action well i hope so uh, you say? how do you get back there when i needed some action peaches he needs action mm -hmm. He needs action. We're, I think uh, Leaf said we'll, we'll head back the way we were brought by the guard. Yes. Back off to the west side of the, the center of town, across what that bridge. Sure. I didn't come that way, but you guys did. So So you guys are not making yourselves well known. You're just kind of trying to blend in. Da, da, da. Yep. 
you notice that the streets are the main streets are filled with sailors, turtle sailors. They are ready. They are pumped. It looks like 1941. Uh, and there's just a whole bunch of Dan Aykroyds running around. Hey, are uh, there, oh, God. As we're walking along, if I see any vendors that have like map cases, I'm going to grab like a nice, you know, oil skin map case. I want to pick one of those up as we're walking by. <laughs> D12. Mm -hmm. Come on, big number. Two. Seven. Oh. Uh, sorry. No. Keep them parchments safe. <laughs> What do you want? What do you What do you want the tube for? <laughs> Cartography. Somebody, crack a map. Somebody's going in the water. I can smell that right. You, you, you should have kept the cane and just had it put back together. Oh, I didn't. I turn hold the power. <laughs> uh, you guys get to the bridge. And uh, uh, yeah. you, you notice a cadre of guards. I just uh, want to point out, I was taking the broken cane because I still, that's my pimp cane. I'm putting a new head on that thing. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> uh, the guards are stopping traffic, uh, Tortle and others alike. Want to know what your business is? Robert, D12 against me. Come on, Robert, you can do it. Eight. Hey. Two. Uh, one of the guards recognizes you, and Felix. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Forehead here. Yeah, from hey. the night before. Hey, How are you? Us? We just we need to get back to the other side of the city, if you don't mind. Going back to your room, you're looking a little peaked. Yes, just a little. A rough no. life. Lots of good ale. I don't know if I should be telling you this, but. Uh, yeah, you, you. No, yeah, he, you know what? You're fine. You're fine. You know what? <laughs> what do you got to say? Loose lips? I tell you what, this guard gets a little cut of that porno, baby. <laughs> we uh, we we've had some complaints at uh, the end of the slumbering giant. What about? about a peeper? I'm sure you guys are fine because. Who wants to look at that, Nick? It's you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kobe, oh, God. You guys will be fine. Uh, the guard unit doesn't move. They're just in the middle of that big turtle shell. Or hey, we'll just walk right on through then. Walk right on through. You get to the other yeah. side. Uh, you know, there's there's a few more turtles here than before. It's all right. We'll make our way on through them now. Uh, not quite. Copious. Uh, you, Robert, and Felix see somebody that you know. Aruba Tuba? Part of him. Just his head? Just his head. Oh, I knew we were going to get him killed. <laughs> yeah, that was a deal. What's his uh, And uh, Tim El Jefe comes out of the building. Gentlemen, understand uh, your friend had an accident. I see that the guards have let you go. Come Is on, Robert. Accident? Wait, 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 wait. Manfang, explain <laughs> the situation. All right. So here's what happened. Yeah, roll your diplomacy. No, no. Time. He has to explain it first. I don't got nothing in my mind right now. My mind's empty, so I'm going to roll diplomacy and then explain it. He's rolling a thought. I'm rolling a thought. I'm rolling for a thought. <laughs> oh, not a bad thought. Not a bad thought. I think your diplomacy is plus zero. Yep. So that's 13. 13. Right. Lay it on me. Some story. Go ahead and lay that story out there. I'm a sucker for a good story. Well, he can't very well tell you how you got away because he wasn't with you. Shush! Don't let logic get in the way of Man Fang's storytelling. Come on, Man Fang, you can do this. You keep in mind, you have gotten us out of several things in the past with your stories. Yeah, and you healed your this. dad and healed Robert, too. All right. So here's what happened. I'm thinking about just rolling my great action trying to get it. But I don't think I should. Just start a big fight. I don't know. <laughs> Here's what happened. Wow. I'm going to get through lightning. I know it. I can feel it coming. 
Go ahead there. Uh, I'm standing in the way. Hey, you guys got, hey, Leaf, you got lightning powers, right? Dude, you better explain what happened. There's a lot of people around here. How many people are around? Eight. Eight. Oh, hey, exact number we are. Let's go. I mean, if you blow and and here we thought man fang was the one man so what are you going to tell him man fang oh my god i can't think man Ah. come on the story is taking too long i know do something now do something now what are you going to do what are you going to say i'm going to make it happen now Uh, stop thinking do So you're the running cough. through the woods. The you're you're calling? Yes, I'm coughing. Okay, like that, that, that takes like a couple seconds. Yes, do it. I'm coughing. Man, <laughs> wait, wait, I got it. I, I figured out what's going on. Man Fang's faking an illness. Kobe's going, Man Fang, are you okay? Are you okay? I think he's having a fit. I think he's having an attack. Copious. Look we over here. Get this gentleman out of the sun. What was that? that from, what was that it's from funny. Thor Ragnarok? It was like, I think it's the plague. And- it's like Loki and Thor is like, get help. I'll yell out, step back. Don't get close to him. Yeah, I mean, we've got Felix is sweating buckets. Manfang starts coughing. Copious starts to vomit. I All think of us. I, I think, think Copious in between a fence. He's going, oh, my God, the plague has come back. It's a jungle fever. Jungle fever. It's highly contagious. Don't get. I don't of- think you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep coughing with this mix of group. I'm gonna I'm gonna cough cough more intensely, like it's like almost almost it's a pain to cough. <laughs> so it sounds like it's hurting. This is getting better all the time. Uh, the term plague is known universally, so the turtles that do not speak common know exactly what you mean. And with two individual rolls of one. Uh, half of the party <laughs> starts to back away significantly. And right. the diplomat succeeds. Four of them, not so much. Let's roll initiative. All right. I'm ready to put up. Oh, I'm going to hit you guys. 30, 20, copious. 16. All right. Oh, plus one. 17. Uh, literally, my dice rolled into my sleeve. Good job. 17. What was it? <laughs> Nine. So let me roll. Yeah, my roll sucks. You rolled a six. Nine. Uh, the dirty 20 goes first. Uh, the four individuals, not including El Jefe, are closing on you. Uh, I'm going to cast uh, Shadow Armor and, and retrieve my um, packed weapon. Okay. Uh, 18, uh, one, two, three, four, five, odd man out. It's going to be nine. They want no part of the sweating Felix. Uh, they are concerned about him. Uh, on copious. No. 15. Leaf, dirty 20. Robert, 16. Nope. Nat 20 oh, to Man Fang. <laughs> Man Fang, give me a constitution save. Copious, give me a constitution save. Oh, what's my constitution? Four. Plus three. Oh, yeah. Eight. He rolled a six. Does that do anything? Yeah, it uh, puts him in the same boat as Copious. Uh, you guys will fight at disadvantage for the next oh, hour. My gosh. And you are That's going gone. to take six hit points what of damage. Hit with? Some kind of toxin. Uh, it won't do prolonged damage, but it will keep you at disadvantage for an hour. For all attacks or all uh, skill checks? All. Oh, we're getting ready to go into a crazy killer funhouse with disadvantage. Two 17s. Leaf and Felix. Felix, you don't have anybody on you, so you can pick anybody. Wait, does that mean I can do a sneak attack as well? Yes. It sure does. I'll pick whoever's closest to me, I guess. Tim. Uh, Kill Tim. Get... Ugh, I'm probably going to miss both of them. 
Uh, you're the one. You're headed for Man Fang. One that's on Man Fang or Man Fang himself. I was talking to Tim. The one on Man Fang. What do I need to roll to hit? Fifteen is your magic number to hit these yeah, guys. I missed with both. <laughs> oh, Eleven kidding. and a fourteen. <laughs> Welcome to the party, pal. Leaf, you're up. Eighteen. Hit. I'm going to cast Flaming Spear right in there in between them. Where's El Jefe at, by the way? He has stepped back into the eel pond. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's fine. That's the building we got to find a magic box in. It is not. It is across the street. That's the tavern and they slept at. That's oh, okay. 20 points of flame damage. He hurting. That's with anybody that's within five foot of my flaming spear. I will make adjustments. Fair enough. Uh, Felix is gone. Leaf has gone. Number nine, Robert of Zeppelin. All right. I am going to use my sword and strike. That 20. Damage, damage, modifier. Damage, five plus six, 11 plus five, 16 points. Nicely done. Man Fang. Yeah. Uh, Felix has valiantly attempted to disengage your guy, but eh, not so much. Remember, you're right. rolling everything at disadvantage. All right, but I also got two strikes, and I'm going to use them both on this guy. Sure. Roll once for the first one. You missed, missed naturally. Just missed and my second one. He missed, missed both. He rolled a nine and a four. <laughs> uh, top of the order, copious. Uh, oh, you're feeling weird. <laughs> All right, I I'm going to chase after Tim and try to hit him. Am I meowy wowied? You are kind of meowy wowied. All right. Do I, can I catch him and attack this round? You see two doors. You aren't sure which one he went in. I'm going to there's, only, there's only one door. <laughs> He's I'm try to run through the door. I'm going to bounce right off the door, aren't I? Possibly. Even odd. Do you want, are you, you want me to roll or you roll for the even odd? You're going to roll to tell me which one you're going to go after, even oh. or odd. Or right, you can just okay. tell me and then even. I will. You're going to go even. Yep. Okay, fair enough. So what do you do? I'm running, I'm running in to hit uh, Mighty Tim. You burst through the door that you think is the door. It is the door. Oh, and, yay. And El Jefe has his hand on a chain. Ding, 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 ding. I knew that was coming. <laughs> and two of his loyalists are also here. Okay. Oops. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and cast agonizing blast at El Jefe and see if sure. I can hit him. Outside, you guys hear a bell ringing. Uh oh, that ain't good. You think? Oh, Graham. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Fourteen. Not for El Jefe. Watch out for reinforcements to be coming. Yeah. That the bell rings Stop. even louder as agonizing blast hits it. <laughs> Uh, let's see. El Jefe is going to ring the bell. His two subordinates are going to try and hit you. Robert, set fire to the tavern. One set. of them is a seven. The Hard other nice. is 22. Like 22 hits. No, uh, I good news uh, is you aren't going to be sicker. No, I'm going to create a bonfire. Uh, six more hit points of damage, though. <laughs> Outside back. on Leaf. 16, 18 right. plus 4, 22. Five Robert, 18 Five plus 4, 22. Uh, Man Fang, 2 plus 6. So it doesn't matter if it went after you or Felix, it missed. Uh, Robert and Leaf, I'm going to need con checks, or con saves rather, and you will take three hit points of damage. I got hit. You must I hit. made mine. 17. Yeah, I rolled two 18s in a row. Oh, yeah. Uh, it don't matter. I, I We still I take three points six but... right off the bat. So okay. You take three hit points of damage, but if you fail, all your rolls for an hour. Or less. No, I made my hit. I, I, I think I'm roll. under uh, 
because I rolled a six without adding my constitution. Yeah, you're going to go at disadvantage. Uh, three 17, hit three hit points. 17s, Leaf and Felix. Uh, Felix, real quick. Uh, odd, he was focused on Manfang, even you. If it's an odd, you can still go for surprise. It is a two. He knows you're there. So, Leaf and Felix. Where the uh, uh, guys that were fighting her, I, I'm going to roll the spear to, towards the nearest clump. Sure. I want to affect as many as I can with it. Sure. Uh, I'll give you uh, Robert and Manfangs. That's a deck save. Ten and an eight, so I'm thinking no, unless it's a 12. I am two, and that's 11. And that is nine more, 20 points. 20 points or nine more? 20 points. I, I'm rolling that. I'm only rolling these pretty green dice that I have because they roll fives and sixes all the freaking time. You uh, kill one of them, emollient him into ash. Uh, the bell has drawn the regular folk out, but the regular folk aren't having any of that. Uh, Felix, uh, the guy that you are focused on is now on fire. Well, let's keep stabbing away. Uh, it looks like I hit him with both for seven damage. That oh, is good. Hold on. Hold on. I forgot to add bonuses to that. Seven's good enough. Oh, well, then, yeah, there you go. Uh, he's dead. So we have two dead, one on fire, and another one. Uh, nine. Robert, your guy has gone up in a ball of flame. Uh, can I see where uh, Tim's standing? Give me a perception check or investigation, rather. Sorry. 18 before I even add anything. Uh, you saw Copius run into the building. I want to run into the behind Copius. Is. Okay, fair enough. Uh, you go in. Uh, you will be there next Just round. The away. Sure. Uh, then you will see Copius is under fire by two of them, and Tim is ringing the bell. Inside. I'm gonna. Yep. I'm gonna cast create bonfire mm -hmm. under ten. Okay, I'll give that to you. How far is Tim away from Copius? Uh, 20 feet from him, 30 feet from you. Okay. So it's a five foot square. Bonfire. Okay. Yeah. You're going to catch the place on fire. Man fang, oh, you're no. up. Oh, no. <laughs> and it's one die eight damage uh, for Tim. Okay. Four. Man fang. It's my turn now. Yep. But you don't have anybody to fight. So you're going to have to fight copiouses or leafs. I guess I'll fight cool pieces. Why don't you try this dice this time? All right. Nope. It's nope. That's you. You suck. God, you suck. The dice gods are not kind today. This thing is cursing me. Yeah. So that is plus. Uh, I remember he's got to roll twice. He's rolling at disadvantage. Disadvantage. So that was. So everybody. All right. But Go ahead. Him. Felix. What's the disadvantage. He rolled a 19 and an 18. No, he 19 and a 13. He has plus 8. Yeah, so he, he got him. Got Leaf, him you are not at disadvantage, correct? No. no okay, so damaged, Leaf huh? and Felix are not. All right, so damage is... Die 12. A 12. We try just rolling on regular. He cannot do nothing but drop that dice on the floor. Roll it again. That's... That's 15 plus 5. That'll be enough to kill uh, Copiuses. So he rolled 25 points of damage. Yep, that's good enough. Top of the order, Copius, uh, your guy evaporates in a mighty swing from uh, Manfang. Do I have oh, wait a minute. Question? No, I'm sorry. You're inside. Never mind. I'm inside, yeah. yeah. So uh, do I still have two guys on me? Mm -hmm. Not including Tim, right? Correct. Yeah, Tim's so on fire. Yeah, I'm, Tim is on fire right now. <laughs> I'm going to attack one of the guys on me with my, my sword and cast uh, Glorious Copious at the same time. Nice. Uh, uh, 12 
on the disadvantage. Nope. Not even close. Disadvantage uh, is killing me because my other roll would have been over 20. <laughs> sorry. Oh, that uh, the, 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 sucks. the two go after you. Three and 17, so 21. Yeah, yes. 17 is the magic number. Okay. One and a two, three more hit points of damage to you. Outside, there is only one left, and it is on Leaf. And <coughs> not looking that great. Six is his roll. Uh, I missed. Leaf, you're up, and Felix, you're up. How close is he to me? He's on you. You. I'll let the flaming spear go. Okay. I'll swing at him with my. I don't even know what I got. Saber or something. I think you have a scimitar. Scimitar, that's right. Been a long time since I used it. Yeah. Let's see if I can hit something. 15? Yep, that hits him. All right. I have four hit points left. Well, I only did three. <laughs> Jesus. Felix, you're up. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to hit him for 13 hit points. Right. Jeez. Jeez. Thank Jeez. you. Uh, Robert is inside with copious burning Tim when he gets back. Man Fang, what are you doing? Muted. Everybody outside is dead, right? Correct. Okay, then I'm going to run inside. Okay, uh, the door is being blocked by Robert. Robert, what are you doing? I am going to shoot. Who's between? Is there anybody between me and Tim? Oh, yeah. Copious. Okay. <laughs> I say shoot fireball it. Just fireball. I was going to shoot a cone of flame. So. Uh, that'll work. You, you'll get two of them in oh. Tim and Copious. Yeah, and Felix, you run in behind him and shoot one of them damn arrows. I'm, I'm just, yeah, I'm not running in. <laughs> I'm going to create another bonfire elsewhere in the uh, room. By the liquor? Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, top of the order, Copious. Uh, a secondary fire has started, and it seems to be focused on an ale cask. I'm going to back out of the end is, uh, on a faster retreat. I know you'll get a hit at me, uh, but I don't care before everything goes up in flames. Yeah, you're going to run square into Robert, too, by the way. <laughs> I, I am of small stature, so hopefully I can... You'll look him right in the eye when you run by him, too. Yeah, Man Fang is right behind him. <laughs> You're blocked in. Uh, 15, There's so no 19, run. 19 right. and 11, so 15. 19 hits. Disadvantage is a killing you, but not me. Uh, three and a two, five more damage. Woo! Outside, Leaf and Felix, you're up. Give me perception checks. <clears throat> 26. 19. You both spot the building that you are supposed to go in using the key that Copius has in his possession. You also see several turtles ducking into alleys. Well, Felix, I'm going to take a look in the door of the inn. I'm not going to rush in it. I'm going to look inside. The, where Copius is at? Yep. You aren't even going to get close door. because uh -huh. Robert's blocking the door and Man Fang's right behind him. That's yeah. all I want to know. Copius is sneaking out between their legs. Memories. Of you, know, <laughs> you know, you know that Robert oh, Bob. wears a kilt. <laughs> Robert wears a kilt, dude. So you if you look wet. up, you're going to get a I'm not nasty. looking up. It doesn't matter. You got something crusty and wet running down your back. Oh, that's uh, that's Felix. <laughs> oh, that's Felix. <laughs> oh, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wrong guy. Wrong guy. <laughs> itchy. Itchy but, and There's voice. nothing more horrific than what I've already observed, so... We'll see how my illustrator. If I, do I do. see copious <laughs> crawling out? Or? Uh, give me an investigation check. Oh my god! I don't you think I want to investigate this. <laughs> oh, twelve. Yeah, you see him. Uh, he's trying to get around Man Fang, who's. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> 
I'll tap, I'll, I'll tap Man Fang. I'll poke at Man Fang. Say, Man Fang, step back out of there. All right, I'll back away. Where's your dad? Because this is going to be the important part. Hey, Dad, get over here. I, Copius get is shouting, away. shut the door. Bolt the door shut. They're bolting you in. It you opens. didn't know that? You didn't hear? No, I heard everybody's running out the door. Now, Copius is running between your legs. What, what do you, you want to do? Do you feel something wet and warm? <laughs> we already made it. We already got that, that one. That joke. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, hey, watch hey. up. <laughs> Don't worry, son. I took care of that. Okay. What do you want to do? I'm I'm going to make one more uh, shot before I back out. Outstanding. Okay. Roll dexterity check. <laughs> the <Yeah>. cask ignites. <laughs> oh, man. 18 plus, that's 20, 30. Half damage uh, as you get blown off the porch as an explosion riddles <laughs> the eel pond and the second story collapses in on the first i think we got 10 oh good well i think we got the distraction we needed to get in the other house i think i'll use those uh murder hobo dice too myself i love those dice i only got one six though ah. uh 11 damage so halved five uh as your beard is filled with splinters Inside, it is a smoky <laughs> Fortunately, your broad frame protected the escaping Copious and the backing up Man Fang. Uh, now that chaos completely rules the streets, yes, uh, Felix and Leaf know where the building is. Yep, man, Copious guys, the building's right over here. Let's get in it, get what we need, and get out of here while they're busy dealing with this mess. I'm I'm with them. I, let's stumble our way across there before anybody shows up yep. and recognizes. Absolutely, absolutely. But, but you have to understand, I'm not feeling real well. Let me see. Let, let, of everything. Let, let me see. Come here. Let me see. Let me heal you, my child. I got a spell. I forgot what the hell it was called. I was all set to do lesser this. Rest of, lesser restoration. Yes. Let me lesser restorate you. Wait a minute. Can you do that twice? Can you cough? Cough. Three times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's two of them there. Three, I think you'll be two? okay. <laughs> what happened to the other one? I don't know. Check Robert. According to the picture circulating <laughs> on the pin board, there was only one. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Where'd the second one come from? <laughs> one, two, and three. Okay. Or, according to pictures that Coronado had behind the bar laughing at before you guys got there. Turns out it's actually a marble. So, uh, does, do you does lesser... that, is that all he needs? Lesser restoration. I, I'll, I'll cast that upon you. You are no longer disadvantaged. I, but but I still look like hell. You yes, know, I've I mean, lost 20 points of hit points out there. I've lost half my health. Uh, More than half my health. I, I need that spell there, Leaf. Uh, Leaf, both Robert and Manfang could also use that spell if you got three of them. I'll be fine. <laughs> He doesn't need it because he's going to really cast it whether he has it on or not. Come on. Man. I said, can I cast it? Some of the good stuff. I, I don't know how many spell stuff, slots you have there. Well, I, I, yeah, I haven't yeah, used. Yeah, the only things I've like used is a spear. Yeah, but you used that twice, right? No, I've only used spear once. You can you move used it. it once and then he moved it. Oh, you can move that damn thing around. <laughs> yeah, I can do it. All right, Robert of Zeppelin. And I'll stand back and just kind of. There you go. Robert of Zeppelin is now healed. I saw the picture. I ain't touching that shit. You have not seen the picture yet. <laughs> You've got the mental image that will never. Oh, yeah, right. that's about it. Uh, right, let's man, head for the house, man. You want to do man fang or no? Is he sick too? Yeah, yeah I got. We all got nailed. Why do you yeah, think that was so bad? Man fang rolls sixes and four. So what's the difference? It's a crap out of me. You well, know, this is the last time the I could do this. So. A guy could ever have, you know, best great grandpa. Uh, one I'm, more time, man. I'm, thing. I'm picturing the hangover where the three All right. friends. <laughs> that wipes out a whole lot of spells of mine. I'm going to have to rest. Darn. But you're going inside the fun yeah, house. I know. Right? Ain't that wonderful? You know, it, honestly, it's one of those can we go inside the fun house and rest for an hour? That's That was my first yeah, thought. No, I, that ain't you know, Probably. I'm, I'm yeah. sure it'll be safe in there. Yeah, no uh, way. We're screwed. 
<laughs> so three of you are no longer disadvantaged. One of you is at half hit points. I'm disadvantaged. Uh, oh, you are? Yeah, well, just because I used all my spell slots. So. <laughs> I just uh, used my last uh, big healing potion, too. I've been squirreling that sucker away this whole adventure. <laughs> well, I good thing you had it then. I think this brings us to an excellent spot to start. Yes. Right? Uh, folks, thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. Let's go with final thoughts. Uh, AJ. I'm fine. I, I don't know how I missed everything in that battle. <laughs> Other than the sweating, I'm completely normal. I'm ready to charge right into this fun house. I'm surprised. I I'm... I don't know how I got that diplomacy or like persuasion. Legends are made in this game, young oh, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> legends, legends are not always accurate, but you know what? They'll live forever. The legendary diplomacy skills of Man Fang not going away anytime soon. Uh, uh, middle Frank, what'd you think? No, I loved it. I got to burn the house down again. Indeed, I mean, you that's, did. That's that's what brings me joy in life, burning down things. Wow. Uh, you are truly a murder hobo. Uh, <laughs> senior Frank. Oh, I had fun with that. As much fun listening and watching as, as being involved in anything. You know what's a lot of times what's going to happen before it quite gets there. Yep. Yep. Uh, last but not least, he who will have insomnia at thinking about his brother with an oboe. <laughs> you know, okay, yeah, it doesn't do anything to further the adventure plot, but come on. <laughs> That's my, I bought that with my money. I actually bought that. <laughs> Right there. That's messed up. Legends are see, see, young Frank. Legends. I Years know, from now, I, I'm copious if, is looking for monastery. Legend, I don't think I want to replicate this. There's going to be a cult around this specific act at some point. I'm You're going to call it the Wang Brew, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, next time we will see. What horrors await these guys in the funhouse? Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to uh, shoot the shit about D&D, join our uh, Discord. If you want to buy crap, go ahead. Uh, most importantly, if you want a seat on one of the one shots all Saturdays this month uh, or on the talk show, M Hobo Inc., uh, Gmail or Twitter, get a hold of us. Uh, thanks, Pirate Dog Dice. Uh, the dice worked real well for me and for Leaf. And of course, oddfishgames.com. Yeah, yeah, uh, probably a couple of weeks before their next show. Uh, but if your game stinks, try their adventure sense, except for putrid sewers. That stuff is as nightmarish as thinking about Robert naked uh for all of us here at murder hobo inc uh, thank you very much for joining us so uh, we'll see you on tuesday for between the roles everybody wave let's get the hell out of dodge bye